brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope everybody's doing all right. Um, so I really don't even know what's in this time lapse, but I just needed something on the screen for you guys to, um, <laughs> to be visually entertained. Lord Jesus, please give me the right words to convey what you want me to say and use me as a vessel to speak through, Lord. All glory to you, Lord God. All glory to you, Jesus Christ. I don't want any of it, Lord. I am less than nothing without you. Just please give me the right words so I can help everybody understand what it was that you were trying to show me. In Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, please open the eyes of everybody watching this. Please have them hear what you want them to hear, your truth. Because you are the truth, Lord. So please speak through me with your truth. And Lord Jesus, please let this time lapse be what you want. <laughs> because I have no clue what is entailed in this. I haven't listened to the the music or the uh, or looked at the video so lord jesus please don't let anything crazy be in it but if it happens then we'll deal with it <laughs> lord jesus please open the minds and the hearts of everyone and have them let go of this world lord and have them focus solely on you not on man hardly on youtube have them be in your word, Lord, because it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So if you're the word, Lord, if you are the actual word, then we want to know the word more because we want to know you more, Lord. So Lord Jesus, please hear our prayers and please comfort our hearts in Jesus' name. So Here's the deal, guys. There's some things that I have to say that I'm not comfortable saying. <laughs> it's always more uncomfortable for me than it is for you. But there's a couple of things. Uh, you know, I don't ask YouTube very much to pray for me, but if you talk to anybody that knows me, they'll tell you that I ask for prayer all the time because we all need prayer. But there's a couple of things I want you guys to pray for if you could. I'm seeing people fall away from the Lord and make the wrong choices when they've been offered everything. So I saw a brother close to me fall away a little bit. And I'm just asking, I'm not going to say a name but it's really heavy on my heart. It hurts me so bad to see someone close to you choose the world over God. But if all of you can pray, you don't need to know his name. The Lord God knows who he is. Pray for him to have the strength to come to the altar and turn from his sin. Pray for him to um, see the truth and everything that I told him and everything that everybody's told him and everything that he knows. Um, have him, if you guys could pray about just him having the courage to turn away from the things he's doing and for the enemy to flee from him in Jesus' name because he loves the Lord, guys, but there's there's issues that are going on. And what are those issues usually? What's the one thing that separates us from God? Sin. So, anyways, if you guys could just say a prayer for him and whatever else is on your heart to help this brother, because my heart hurts really bad. Okay, so there's that. Now, that's what's really heavy on my heart. But what's also really heavy on my heart that you guys might not know. Actually, I don't think anybody knows except people close to me. But I'm on probation. And the Lord told me a little while ago, you're not under man's law anymore. So 
he said, stop going to your UAs. Stop going to probation. Stop calling probation. You're not going to need to do that anymore. Because you're not under man's law anymore. And I'm like, uh, you know, if you don't go to probation, Lord, what happens is they issue a warrant and they come bring you to jail. If you don't comply with probation, you go to jail. That's anybody that knows anything about the law knows that. So I want you all to know maybe this is going to encourage you guys to help you understand that I have everything on the line right now. I haven't talked to my probation officer for a month and a half. And the last communication that he sent me was an email. And he said that you're going to have to, um, that we're going to have to issue a warrant if you don't uh, come up with a medical note why you can't make it to probation. Well, the Lord wasn't letting me go to the doctor. So how can I get a medical note if I'm not going to the doctor? He's told me, guys. So this is my way of owning that the Lord is not going to let me go to jail. This is what he's telling me. I'm going to share it with you guys. But let me tell you the things that he's telling me and the things that Satan's telling me. Satan's telling me, you're going to jail. You're not going to be able to do the Lord's work anymore. You're not going to be able to help people get saved anymore. You're failing. You're out of his will. You're nothing. Nobody likes your videos. Nobody likes you. That's. <laughs> I, I would agree. I, you guys probably see Christ in me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I hope you don't like me. Like the Lord in me. But this is what God's telling me. You're not meant for destruction. You're, the very first thing he said to me was never, it, it, the word was asyle, A-S-S-Y-L-E. And it's like asylum, right? And that kind of freaked me out when I looked at it. I was like, asylum, like I'm crazy? But no, like think if you're like seeking asylum in a different country. Well, it's because you're afraid of what's going on in your own. So for protection, they give you asylum. So it means never, it was inviolable is what it led me to, and it's never to be infringed or dishonored. So he's telling me, you're not going to jail. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it looks impossible, Lord. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to jail if you're not coming. So here's the deal is I've been fighting in my head, it's been a war in my head every single night because I think they're going to knock on my door and take me, which I don't mind because if, if they come, then it's in the Lord's will for me to be in jail. If they don't come, then that's in the Lord's will too. But I'm doing what I hear from the Lord God Almighty. He could do any type of miracle he wants. He can make it all go away if he wants. I don't think that's going to happen. But here's the thing. Is I'm <laughs> putting all my chips in, and they've all they've been all in for a while, and I've been trying to push out videos because I don't know, man. I don't know when they're gonna knock on the door, but the Lord's telling me I'm not gonna be here when they do. So everything is coming to a head in my life. Is it coming to a head in your life? Does everything seem final for you? Because me, at any moment, the cops can come to the door. They could come to the door as I'm doing this video. Wouldn't that be hilarious? <laughs> it's not going to happen. Because, okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys. Okay, the Lord said last night before I went to bed. He said, grab that giant dictionary and stick a toothpick in it and bring it in your room. So I did. And so there's a toothpick sticking out of it, and I'm about to read my Bible and stuff. And honestly, I only cast lots when I have to, when I need to get an answer from the Lord. But uh, he said, grab your dictionary. I want to show you something. So I'm going to show you some lots that were casted. And uh, if you guys don't know what casting a lot is, I'll 
post a video. I'll, I'll post a video of it that I did. Um, the Lord actually made me do it live, so I'll post that video in the description. It was a prophetic word I did, and and he uh, he let me do a lot right in front of you guys to show you what it is. So I'm gonna show you a couple uh, words. It's gonna be a while of words because there were a lot of them in the dictionary. And then it's gonna blow your mind where this goes. I really don't wanna get off this calm music and this, uh, <laughs> this scenery. I really don't want to, but I have to pause it and grab my dictionary. So I'm gonna try and do a longer than 15 minute video. Oh Lord, please let it go through. Cause one time I recorded like an 18 minute video and it said it couldn't upload cause it was too long. But now my account says I can have longer than 15 minute videos and that's just gonna give me a chance to ramble. So Lord Jesus, please help me not to ramble. All right, hang on a second guys. Okay, guys, should I keep the music going? I'm not sure. He said yes. <laughs> okay, so this is what happens. Is I I open the dictionary. See, it's a, it's a giant dictionary, guys. A lot of words. And when I open the dictionary, that's what it looks like, right? When you're looking at a bunch of words. Well, he says, this is what he says. He goes, uh... Usually when I open the dictionary to cast a lot, he um, he says where the word is on the page. So he'll either say the right page or the left page. And then he'll say like middle row, left row, right row. Or so this is what he said. <laughs> it was hilarious. He So I open it and he goes on the right page, smack dab in the middle. <laughs> I've never heard him say smack dab, but check this out. So in the middle, right? Where would the middle be? Smack dab in the middle. Master key. <laughs> A key that opens many locks, each of which is normally opened by an individual key. You know, he who has the key of David. He that opens and no man shuts, and he that shuts that no man opens. I know I butchered that. But that was the very first thing I looked at was master key and master full, or, or master. Okay, so master. I'm just going to say the ones that stuck out to me. Someone who gets the better of a rival at last. <laughs> he had met his master. A spiritual leader or guide, someone regarded as great in his field, like Jesus Christ, who serves as an inspiration to later generations. A skilled workman qualified to work on his own. A master printer, but it says the captain of a merchant ship. Well, what I tell you guys is that, uh, yeah, you guys know about the, um, about the, ship that the Lord told me to download, the sail sailboat. So there's like a, a theme that the Lord always goes back to. So I'll let you guys um, kind of, you know, interpret the lots. I'll interpret what I understand from it. But to gain control over, to overcome, to master one's fear. Guys, we have to master our fears because fear is a liar, right? So we have to be perfected in love because perfect love casts out all fear. Sorry, guys, I think the music is distracting me here. But, you know, perfect love casts out all fear. So... We have to be perfected in love by the Lord. And how do we have, uh, have the Lord's attention and, and have the Lord pay attention to what we're doing while we keep his commandments? We show our love for him. 
You know, draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. Resist the devil and he'll flee. So perfect love casts out all fear. But, you know, completely skilled in the largest, most important, clearly outstanding a master in arms, in charge of discipline. Uh, <laughs> he was saying me wanting to dictate to others. <laughs> I hope it doesn't seem like that to you guys, but I am commanding a lot of people to do a lot of things. Like, you know, actually, it's not really that many things. It's just two. Keep the commandments and love the Lord God. So showing consummate skill, the captain of a merchant ship qualified to command a merchant ship. But then it says, um, master of ceremonies, someone who organizes and looks after de details at a dance or other formal occasion, like the wedding supper, right? <laughs> um, a masterpiece because we're all a work of art to the Lord God. You know, he's the he's the potter and we're the clay. So he's molding us into what he wants us to be molded into. And we are each his masterpiece. His his individual or, or an individual's best piece of piece of creative work. You guys are all his best pieces of creative work. Masterstroke an exceedingly clever tactical move, like the rapture of the church, maybe. And you got mast, a, a long, uh, well, anyways, sail before the mast, to sail before the mast. But here's the thing is uh, I want to show you guys kind of how lots work with me, is I'll like read mast and I'll be like, okay, the upright pull, and then I'll look away and I'll look away. And, and, you know, I'm looking away or whatever, right? Oh, there you go. There's Jesus. <laughs> um, so I look away, and then I just look back down, and I see where my eyes first go to. And it, it doesn't always do this. I try to go right back to the same word, but then all of a sudden my eye will catch over here or something. A mass gathering of people in connection with some matter of public interest. Massless. With a, a mass of zero, he he told me that we're all going to be massless once we go up because we're going to turn into light. Massive, uh, having no regular form. I don't know why I underlined that actually, but massless. Okay, sorry, I got a little caught up there. So. The highest, so the masthead is the highest part of a ship's mass, especially the lower mass, but it's the sailor station near here as a lookout. <laughs> so, you know, like as, as a watchman, right? But I knew, so right away when I was underlining this, this was the first thing I saw, but right away I knew that 615, I got to go to that page number in my Bible. So that's why I have 615 in Bible. And you guys are going to be blown away when you see where this leads because it's insane, guys. 615 in my Bible goes right with it. Remember master, all right? And also, it says that we shouldn't call anybody master here on earth for there is one master in heaven, which is the Lord God, Jesus Christ. So 615 is going to come in later, but then here's this one. My eyes catch this one, and it says the mass of men share this belief. <laughs> the ordinary working people in the community as opposed to the privileged, right? Because we're just ordinary people, guys. To gather together, there's a uh, gather again, because I told you, that's what this channel is, is a gathering of the bride, a gathering of the 144,000. That's what this is. It's a video, it's a channel to have you repent of your sins and turn to the Lord God and, and finally ask him if all of this is real. Is it all going down? 
Am I in okay standings with you if you're already saved? Lord Jesus, search my heart, purge out any unclean thing that you don't want there. I don't know why my eyes went to mask on, but it's in uh, astrology, I guess. It's high concentrations of mass below the Maria, the seas of the moon. I didn't even know there was seas of the moon to begin with. But then it says a mascot, and I don't know why my eyes went there, but he's saying uh, it's an object, animal or person, whose presence is supposed to bring good luck. That was him making a joke to me like I'm his mascot. So is it a spiritual ship or is it an actual ship sailing through waters? You know, because we know that there's a firmament, waters above the earth. But this is what he said. And I'm not saying it's actual like waters, which I think it is, but or an actual sailboat or a spiritual sailboat. But he said, sealing through the waters is your baptism into the kingdom. Do what you guys want with that. I have a feeling that's going to turn some gears. But uh, like I said, it's the end of the world. I don't really care. That's what I heard. But hang on one second here. Let me go to the other page. All right, guys. So I just want to say, because I paused it and I was going to go to the other one. But I just wanted to say... Um, Take everything I say to the Lord Jesus Christ, because I know that me putting it on YouTube, I've already gotten all my confirmations that I know that this came from the Lord. So you guys seek your confirmations because we shouldn't listen to man anyways. Nobody. So I just wanted to throw that in there. But these are the things to remember. Remember 615, we're going to go to that page number in my Bible, and then Remember master. Okay, so he tells me to close it and open it again. And what is it? What page number? 1111, no joke. Um, but this was the very first thing I saw, and it kind of freaked me out, I'm not going to lie. Warrant. And I was like, oh, no, because that's what I've been worrying about this whole time, that they're going to issue a warrant. Well... <laughs> this is what he said with it. And then we'll read it. He said, They have issued a warrant, but this is my guarantee to you that I will get there first to arrest you myself. <laughs> he said, Satan can't do this, my son. So we're going to know very soon if I'm right about getting arrested or getting arrested by the Lord God. And I'm putting all my chips in getting arrested by Jesus and not uh, Pharaoh that's coming, which are the police <laughs> to me. You know, Pharaoh's coming for me and, and it's, uh, it's actually the police. So, you know, we're about to go through that Red Sea, right? And he said, Satan can't do this, my son. And he means the lots. Like he can't, he can't, he's not omnipresent omnipotent you know what i mean i like how people say omnipotent <laughs> but he he's satan is not omnipotent so he can't be in everything only the lord god can give you an answer through a dictionary and it actually be his answer i don't know how it works but um a a, a lot that i casted a while back he said uh remember my son narrow escape from the law that's what it it was um, one of the lots is it meant narrow escape from the law and he reminded me never to be infringed or dishonored like i already told you guys um and then he said warranty because warranty is one of the next words down and he said the person insured is you okay so he's telling me i'm not going to jail now this is a document, so warrant, a document authorizing the attest of a person, uh, or arrest of a person, excuse me, right? But to justify and, and to guarantee, this is his guarantee to me, because he's now put out a warrant for me. And that means he's coming to get us. Because he said, if there's a warrant put out, that just means I'm coming to get you sooner. Not sooner, but you guys know what I mean. It's all in his perfect timing. But I'm putting it all in there. 
He also has called me uh, his gold. You know, his believers are his gold. We are his gold. So I thought that was kind of funny that it says, uh, you know, warranted 22 karat gold, but it says to secure the title of an estate. Well, what's an estate? And I did have to go there um, before. I just got to show you guys an estate to secure the title of. And, you know, I guess that's my title that he's given me in the very end because it says that he'll put a new name on our forehead, right? All right, guys, I'm having problems here. But uh, the whole of a person's property, you know, because he, he goes to prepare a place for us, right? And so what was the word again? So that's a, a person's property or, or everything that they own. So to secure the title of an estate, and that's basically what we're all about to do is secure the title of the estate that he's been given us. So someone who gives a warrant or warranty. <laughs> so a warranty is an assurance given by the seller. The thing sold is exactly as represented in the sale agreement. And he's, he's likening it, the sale agreement, to him saying that I'm not going to jail. So an undertaking by the per person insured, he says that's me, that a statement of risk, the statement of risk is you're not going to jail even though you're not going to probation, is a true statement. <laughs> and we know everything from the Lord Jesus Christ is a true statement because he can't lie. So this is me owning that I'm not going to jail. I've been fighting with it in my mind because Satan's been capitalizing on it like crazy, like I've told you. And this is me owning it, that I'm not going to jail, guys. Jesus Christ is coming. So it's a condition of the contract stated that has been or will be exactly fulfilled, a justification, a guarantee. <laughs> He just said just now, all of my bride are holy and justified. Everything's ready for him to come back, guys. I'm not sure what we're waiting on. I know we're waiting on the Lord, and it's all in his timing. And I don't care if it's in a month from now, which I do. I'd rather it be tonight. But I don't 